Al Siakam out there with Neesmith. Then it's Halliburton, and it's Nimhart in at the two spot. And for the Knicks, they've got Josh Hart. He's out there with Isaiah Hartenstein. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's McBride in at the two guard. You look at the Pacers, well, it took a monumental effort just to push this to a game seven. Now, do they have enough left to win on the road against a very talented club? That's a good question. I mean, at this point, I think the physical exhaustion may take a backseat to the mental exhaustion, especially with the energy of the crowd working against them. To advance, they're going to have to be more focused than they've ever been. And so off the tip, it is New York. Outside Hart, back to Brunson. Shoots over Neesmith, and Brunson with the bucket on the assist from Hart. Doesn't get much easier than that. Hart was licking his chops when he saw his man wide open. Then Hart, the pass to Halliburton. Now here's Turner. Hartenstein pulls it in. Pass to McBride. Outside Brunson. Here's McBride. Hardenstein a screen. He shoots. McBride can't get it to go. Now the Pacers with it. To the paint. It's stolen by Hart. Here's McBride. Defended by Halliburton. Brunson passes to Hart. To the inside. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. Well, not much else that D's going to do right now. Dante making a challenging J. Hard against Siakam. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. Pass to Neesmith. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. The shot by Nimhart, no good. For New York, they've gone two of three from the floor. Inside, Hart, and the layup falls. And sometimes the simplest play is the best one. DiVincenzo made it. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by. Siakam against Hart. Back to Halliburton. The three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. And Halliburton has that kind of ability. An awkward release, but man, is he consistent with it. Here's Brunson. Outside, DiVincenzo. And a miss there on the triple. Indiana has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Siakam outside. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Halliburton outside. Three-pointer. No luck on that one. The Knicks with the lead. Hart passes to Brunson. Oh, and Turner with a block. An impressive shot blocker. Turner's combination of size and timing on defense is so valuable. The jump hook. The Knicks pull it in. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. From nine feet. McBride can't get it to go. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Pass to Neesmith. The three is up. Connects from downtown. And that makes it a tie ball game. And the evolution of Siakam continues. Seeing him make great passes like this proves he's only getting better. Ooh, scary thought. Hart finds Brunson. Back to Hart. The three, DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Pascal Siakam. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. Pass to Turner. Here's Nimhart. Beyond the arc. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Good find there by Turner. He sees an opening and swiftly feeds the ready shooter. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now a timeout called by New York.
DiVincenzo, the pass to Hart. Brunson with it. Just five to shoot. Pass to Hartenstein. Oh, stolen by Turner. Now here's Siakam. Down low. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Indiana. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped, because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Here's Brunson. Here's the floater, and he takes it up and lays it in. Brunson's got his second bucket of the night. You don't need size to score in the lane. It's certainly helpful, but you can see Brunson there with that little teardrop. Who's going to stop that? Back to Halliburton. Fires from deep. Hartenstein pulls it in. New York trailing. Hart passes to Brunson. Here is DiVincenzo. Here's Hartenstein. No made baskets yet. Hartenstein a screen. Here's Brunson outside. Gets the three ball to go. Well, you got to respect Brunson if he's going to knock down threes like that. Indiana's gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Demhart, the pass to Halliburton. Siakam in the post. He's covered by Hart. Pass to Neesmith. Oh, got a piece of it. In transition. Here they come. And DiVincenzo does a good job of using that quickness to pry that one away. For Indiana, they've gone four of nine in this one so far. Now here's Siakam. Here's Nimhart from behind the arc. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. Siakam's got his fourth assist with that last one. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. Trailing by two. Pass to Brunson. Back to Hart. And here's Brunson. Five on the clock. And again, New York with the triple. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Siakam the screen. Three-pointer, Halliburton. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got four rebounds in the game. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Pass to Hart. From six feet away. And he can't bank that one in. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Siakam looking it over. Here's Neesmith over to the wing. Here's McBride. No point so far. Pass to Hartenstein. Brunson with it from deep. Pacers with a rebound. Turner's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Nimhart. DiVincenzo covering. Nimhart, the pass to Neesmith. Siakam with a screen on Brunson. There's Neesmith with a three. Hart pulls it in. New York has gone two of five from deep. Outside Brunson. To the middle. Here's Neesmith. He has six. Siakam outside. Here's Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Playing with real urgency. Turner keeps the play alive. That work ethic from him is just fantastic. Pass to Brunson. Back to Hart. DiVincenzo with a screen on Siakam. 
Hart can't hit. Indiana leading. Siakam in the post. He's covered by Hart. Here's Turner. Pass to Brunson. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, the lefty listed at six foot one, Jalen Brunson. It's a bit of a different matchup. He's just so physical and he can play on and off the ball. Dare I call it funky? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one misses. Achua's checked in for New York. Burks comes in for McBride. Sinks the second. The Pacers have got six of 14 in so far. McConnell passes to Jackson. Back to McConnell. Now here's Siakam. Top of the screen on Achua. And here's Siakam for three. And the three pointer goes. And the Pacers lead by three. The more Siakam uses the three-point shot, the more it helps his game. It makes him the all-around player he needs to be. Pass to DiVincenzo. Releases. Gets a very good look and converts. DiVincenzo's got his third bucket of the night. That's just tremendous scoring. Instinct so fun to watch him work in the half court. McConnell passes to Siakam. Back to McConnell. Offline with a three. The Knicks have gotten eight of 16 attempts to fall. Brunson against McConnell. Pass to Achua. DiVincenzo against Toppin. Shot clock at five. DiVincenzo pass to Brunson. Achua for three. Sinks the tray. Well, plenty of give and take so far. The six lead changes already. Both teams came to play. Toppin outside. And here's Siakam. Back to Toppin. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Siakam. Siakam's got assist number five here tonight. 114 left to play in the first quarter. Brunson against McConnell. Brunson passes to DiVincenzo. Hardenstein a screen. Misses the three. Well, the Pacers shooting about 47% during this first quarter. And Siakam with the slam. He's just such a long and powerful player. I mean, once Siakam gets inside like this, he's ready to jam. McConnell against Brunson. To the paint. Here's Hardenstein. Got it. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Indiana on offense. Pass to Toppin. Here's McConnell. The rebound by Burks. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Hardenstein a screen. Brunson passes to Hardenstein. Stolen by Siakam. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. And the dunk by Jackson. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim, that's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for the Knicks. 
absolutely carrying the offense. He ends the quarter with 14. We'll be right back. And welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Knicks. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. Well, sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal and you can get out and transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Precious Achua. Then there's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's Sims in at the five. Down low. That's the five for New York right now. McConnell passes to Siakam. And there's the rejection. And it's out of bounds to Indiana. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Just four to shoot. Here's Halliburton. Damn, that one's good. Halliburton's got five now. Extra sauce on that one, please, Halliburton. Wow. Brunson against McConnell. And he's going for the lob. Oh, it's stolen by Siakam. Down low. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. for McConnell. And so McConnell nails them both. And Brunson's got the ball here for the New York Knicks. Pass to Sims. The three, DiVincenzo. And the Knicks, another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Halliburton surveys the floor. Called in by DiVincenzo. New York has gone five of ten from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Burks. Let's the three fly. Doesn't go that time. The Pacers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Halliburton on the wing. DiVincenzo covering. Jacks up a three. Halliburton misses. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense than trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. A clear look from McConnell. Got it from about 16 feet. McConnell's gotten four this quarter. And Halliburton just sees the play before the play. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. No good that time. Great D that time from McConnell. Outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Launches it. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. 
Outside Burks. From deep three-point land. Pascal Siakam with the rebound. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there. That, uh, that's unfortunate. He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. For the Knicks, Josh Hart's checked in for Sims, and it's McBride in for DiVincenzo. Jackson, he's checked in for Indiana. <laughs> Quarter number two in around three minutes gone by. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Burks against McConnell. Toppin outside. The three counted from distance. And it's a seven-point Indiana lead. And Toppin not thinking twice on that jumper. Pass to McBride. Just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Burks. And that one drops. The Pacers have gotten four of eight shots to drop in the second. McConnell against Brunson. Now here's McConnell. Guarded closely. From the elbow. The Knicks pull it in. Achua's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to McBride. Inside. And the layup is good. Achua's got five points. Elite passes like that are so hard to defend. He never had to break his stride. So full speed, two points. To the inside. Halliburton goes up top to throw it down. And Halliburton, if he gets that little runway, he'll show you how athletic he can be. Here's Brunson. Rebounded by Halliburton. And Halliburton has got the ball here for the Pacers. It's a five-point game. McConnell outside. Pass to Halliburton. Top it against Hart. Six on the shot clock. Puts up a deep three. Halliburton misses. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Brunson against McConnell. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Halliburton left side. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got his fifth rebound in this one. Burks passes to McBride. Now Achua. He's got five. Pass to Hart. Here's McBride. Now Brunson. He's marked by McConnell. Fades and shoots. Brunson missing again. After nailing three trays to start this game, he's gone silent here in the second quarter. Here's McConnell. The Pacers again can't hit. And he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Hardenstein, he's checked in for New York. DiVincenzo comes in for Jalen Brunson. 
Halliburton outside. Pass to Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Okay, Miles. Getting aggressive and jamming it in. New York has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Inside. Oh, stolen by Turner. Siakam with it. Hard covering. Hard against Siakam. Pass to Nimhart. Halliburton with the ball. Five to shoot. Back to Siakam. Takes the three. Deflected. Good awareness from Hart. He interferes at the right moment. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. Here's McBride. Still no points. To win the cold spell. It doesn't go for him. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. To the middle. Here's Siakam. And then Siakam with the jam. Yeah, Siakam's got a great head on his shoulders. They'd be smart to use him in that set as much as possible. Now a timeout called by New York. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here. Maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Hart. Pass to McBride. Hardenstein a screen. Clock at six. McBride can't get it to go. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on. Forget about this sequence here and, and try to find a way to get on the board. McConnell right side. There's a screen by Turner. Siakam. And it's Indiana scoring again. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Hard with it. And it's McConnell picking him up. Out of bounds. It'll be Pacers ball. And here's Siakam. Nine points in the game. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. Ooh, cooking it up down low. It's spicy P. Outside Hart. Here's McBride. He's marked by McConnell. Hardenstein a screen. Will it go? McBride can't get it to go. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. Frustration seems to be mounting here, and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurry shot selection. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Brunson has checked in for New York. Falls for Turner. When you think about Turner, one of the best shot blockers in the league who can also score at all three levels. Brunson passes to Hart. Shoots over Turner. Pass to Hart. 
Let's it go from deep. The rebound by Nimhart. Indiana's gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. Siakam, the pass to Nimhart. McConnell outside. Shot clock at six. The layup off target. McConnell's gone two of seven, struggling a bit. Brunson passes to McBride. For three, DiVincenzo. That one's off. He's four for nine. DiVincenzo's gone one of five on three-point drives. A minute 37 left in the first half. Turner, a screen on DiVincenzo. McConnell's shot is off. And Brunson's got the ball here for New York. They trail by 16. Here's McBride. He's marked by McConnell. Hardenstein passes to Brunson. Brunson converts with the D draped all over him. You try to stay as much as you can connected with Brunson, but he just knows how much space he needs to squeeze one off. McConnell passes to Turner. McConnell outside. Turner, a screen on DiVincenzo. Down low. Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from McConnell. McConnell's got his fourth assist in this one. Siakam's got most of his shots to fall. He's six of nine. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. What's up? McConnell with it. He's got six. Pass to Neesmith. Turner in the high post. Oh, swiped away. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Gets the three to fall. Steven Chenzo's got six points in the quarter. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's at two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. McConnell against DiVincenzo. McConnell outside. He shoots over DiVincenzo. McConnell, good. McConnell's got eight points. And he's going to nail these if you give him the space. That's just soft D. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. And so it's the Indiana Pacers going into the break up 12. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. Coach, I saw you getting into your team. What's been the problem? We're playing a low energy. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. Thanks for being with us. We're happy. Are you happy? Everything is going as planned in Game 7 for the Indiana Pacers. Their offense reminds us of our halftime show. Efficient, entertaining, and attractive. Yeah. Uh, I sort of see what you're saying there, big fella. That does sound like us. And looking at where the Knicks stand in this series. Game seven, we know how much is at stake. Kenny, what's it like to play in one of these? Well, it, it's normal to have some nerves. Now, I'm, I'm, you can't shake those off, but those butterflies... They quickly remove when the game starts. Normally, guys get better in the second half. 
First of all, uh, Ernie, you shouldn't be asking an earthling that question because me, I never got nervous. I instilled fear in my point. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with a third period. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. Second half underway. Here's who Rick Carlisle's got on the floor. Pascal Siakam out there with Miles Turner. Then it's Neesmith, then it's Halliburton, and it's Nimhard in at the shooting guard position. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Brunson. With the floater. Fantastic work down low from the crafty Brunson. And Brunson capable here of having these binges scoring the basketball. Here's Nimhart to the paint. Pass to Neesmith. Turner. Here's Nimhart from deep. Drains the triple. Nimhart's gotten his third basket of the night. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Hartenstein a screen. For three. DiVincenzo. Tries again. A rebound by Turner. Turner's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Halliburton right side. Quick release, Tyrese. And there's so much about Halliburton that shows that he plays well beyond his years. Now here's Brunson, tightly guarded. And Hart with a basket on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got five assists tonight. And despite the defender's length, he goes right up from the mid-range. I don't think he sees any kind of defense when he's at that range. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. Siakam, pass to Turner. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And the defense recognizing that Turner can make this shot, which is why he gets fouled. for Turner. And so he makes both from the line. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. McBride passes to DiVincenzo. Right side, Brunson. Outside, Hart. Pass to DiVincenzo. Clock at six. The three-pointer off the mark. For Indiana, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Siakam, the pass to Halliburton. There's a screen by Turner. There's the triple. Halliburton misses. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. Pass to McBride. Siakam against Hart. And Hart playing with his right now, just going all out. Throw good, Hart. And so crucial for Hart to get to the line, establish some confidence. He's solid from there. 
And I think it sometimes gets his perimeter game going. That one misses. And Siakam has got the ball here for the Indiana Pacers. Here's Nimhart. Nine points in the game. It's rebounded by New York. Hardenstein's got rebound number seven tonight. And a foul on Josh Hart. That's his first foul. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Indiana has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Halliburton against DiVincenzo. Pass to Nimhart. This one for three. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Nimhart's got six points in the quarter. That's pretty unselfish there. He sees that there's a better shot on the perimeter and bang, just kicks it out. Now DiVincenzo. Clock at four. Here's McBride. And the Knicks miss again. The Pacers have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Back to Siakam. Up top, Turner. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Jalen Brunson picks one up. Nice physical play by Turner, getting to the strike. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Indiana. I mean, they played some beautiful basketball all game. The passing has been impressive, and it's opened up things with their ball movement. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. And he can't get the first one. Hits the second from the line. New York has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Boy, you look at Pascal Siakam. He's been playing really well. And they simply have no answer right now. Right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. And so it's New York with it. It's an 18-point game. Pass to Hartenstein. Outside Hart. Outside Brunson. Back to Hart. Just five on the clock. And the basket is good. Hart's got seven points in the game. Envision such a key part of Brunson's game as the point. Here's Nimhart. 12 points for him. Halliburton finds Siakam. Back to Halliburton. Pass to Neesmith. And here's Turner. Siakam outside. From downtown. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hardenstein's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Here's McBride. He's scoreless. Runs on a screen on Halliburton. For three, DiVincenzo knocks down the triple. Well, you want to chase him off the three-point line. DiVincenzo able to settle in that time. Hard against Siakam. Turner, a screen on Hart. Here's Siakam. The Pacers again can't hit. Good offense beats good defense. Not always. Outside, DiVincenzo. Pass to Hartenstein.
he drops the first. The Pacers making a switch here. McConnell's checked in. Also good, so he hits both free throws. Indiana's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Turner, a screen on Brunson. Here's McConnell. Cranes it with the D all over him. McConnell's got ten points in the game. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. McConnell outside. Pass to Siakam. Back to McConnell. Siakam outside. Turner, a screen on Hart. And here's Siakam for three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Here's Nimhart. Back to Siakam. It's blocked! Here's McBride. Yet to see a basket. McConnell with a double. Pass to Hart. 4-3. Nails it from beyond the arc. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Knicks? Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. The other part about tonight, you've got to give credit to the coaching staff. They came in here with a great game plan, defensively locked in. They were ready for the sets. They jumped in passing lanes. They came away with steals. I mean, they anticipated just about everything. New York with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Here's the three. Brunson misses. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. Halliburton pass to Demar. McConnell against Brunson. Pass to Halliburton. Even Chenzo with a steal. To the inside. There's McBride. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. First free throw is good. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. And the Knicks making a change here. Burks has checked in. Both shots good from the strike. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. Pass to Siakam. Now here's McConnell, defended by Burks. Here's Nimhart. 12 points for him. Missed it. Four for eight in a contest. Here's McBride. Hardenstein passes to DiVincenzo. And again, the Knicks missing. Well, uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Now here's McConnell. Defense right on it. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Trailing by 10. McBride passes to Hart. And that's a foul called on T.J. McConnell. That's his first foul of the game. 
for the Knicks. Sims comes in for Hart, and Achua is subbed in for McBride. The Pacers also with a sub. Jackson, he's checked in for Nimhart. Sims, the pass to Hartenstein. Here's Sims. Achua for three. The rebound by Shepard. Pass to McConnell. Jackson with a screen on Burks. Here's McConnell. And the jumper is good at the free throw line. And now a 12-point Pacer lead. Defenses nowadays try to protect the rim and the three-point line. So the mid-range is usually available. Outside Burks. The three ball. Knocks down the long J. Burks has got five points. When you can simply shoot over the defender, you've got it made. Connell against Burks. Excellent D there from Burks. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Pass to DiVincenzo. From outside the arc, hits the trifecta. DiVincenzo's got six in the quarter. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. McConnell against Burks. McConnell outside. Shoots over Burks. McConnell, good. He's got 16. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. DiVincenzo can't hit. Indiana leading. Pass to Siakam. McConnell with it. Now Burks defending. Jackson the screen. Inside. against Achua. Toppin passes to McConnell. Four on the clock. There's a screen by Toppin. And Shepard. And the three off target. His teammates cannot be happy with him, guys. He would have been better off resetting the offense and looking for a better shot opportunity. Burks no good. Indiana's gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Jackson with a screen on DiVincenzo. One goes. Count it. And now a 10-point Pacer lead. He's just that good, guys. Sometimes even the best defense can't stop him. Here's DiVincenzo. What a performance for T.J. McConnell. He has been the story for the Pacers. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We'll be right back with you shortly. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm Assist to the Game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And our coverage of Game 7 continues. Intense atmosphere right now. Jalen Brunson is out there with Alec Burks. Then there's Precious Achua. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Sims in at the 5, roaming the paint. That's the 5 for New York right now. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. McConnell finds Halliburton. And here's Toppin. Achua defending. against Brunson. McConnell passes to Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Pass to Achua. Outside Brunson. Shoots 
shoots over McConnell. Brunson misses. Well, the Pacers shooting around 51%. That's a good number. McConnell passes to Halliburton. McConnell against Brunson. Here's Shepard. Toppin outside. Halliburton outside. Puts up a three. Called in by DiVincenzo. He really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. And stolen by McConnell. And he's going for the oop here. DiVincenzo against McConnell. To the middle. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by DiVincenzo. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. And Halliburton has got the ball here for the Indiana Pacers. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Jackson on the wing. Halliburton outside. McConnell from outside. Indiana again missing. New York trailing. Outside, DiVincenzo. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First one at the line is good. <laughs> They've definitely made free throws look easy here in the second half. Hardenstein, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And the Pacers also making a change. Nimhart, he's checked in for Jackson. So he gets them both. A great player on a great roll. At the charity stripe, the D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Toppin, a screen on Brunson. Toppin outside. Fires the three. Yes. And it's McConnell with the assist that time. McConnell's got six assists now in the game. Brunson against McConnell. Outside Burks. Let's go with a three. Oh, deflected. Toppin with a steal. McConnell against Brunson. Halliburton outside. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Can't cash it in from the high post. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. He does that so well. At his size, he's always a threat to throw it down. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Rick Carlisle as he talked with the team. He loves what the D has been able to accomplish, saying to his team, every turnover is a big success for us. Keep forcing those errors. Don't let them feel comfortable out there. So expect them to keep trying to be disruptive. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Here's Toppin. McConnell, right side. Here's Nimhart. There's a screen by Toppin. Six to shoot. Down low. The six-footer. Hartenstein pulls it in. Hartenstein's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Here's Burks. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. The Pacers have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Nimhart, the pass to Halliburton. And 
here's Toppin. Pass to McConnell. Toppin, a screen on Burks. Halliburton for three. Indiana again missing. At some point, you need to know when to stop shooting. Just too many misses piling up for him. Here's the pick. Now here's Achua. Count the basket. Indiana's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Brunson against McConnell. Halliburton up top. Pass to Shepard. Toppin with it. Yep, that one's good. Now Brunson. Now here's Achua. Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. The Pacers have gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. McConnell finds Halliburton. Here's Shepard. McConnell right side. Here's Halliburton. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's on Alec Burks. Can't be overzealous with Halliburton. When you are, he embraces that and he got the whistle. One falls. You know, young players who come into the league, you want to see if they can bring it every night. Halliburton has certainly fit that bill. So for the Knicks, Josh Hart's checked in for Sims. DiVincenzo comes in for Achua. And it's McBride in for Burks. And both free throws good for Halliburton. The Knicks have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Pass to Hart. Here's McBride. Fires for three. It's hauled in by McConnell. McConnell's got five rebounds tonight. And here's Halliburton. Siakam outside. Back to Halliburton. There's a screen by Turner. Oh, you got to guard Halliburton from there. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Brunson against McConnell. And Brunson, here we go. And the layup is good off the glass. Brunson's got 22. Now, guys don't want to guard someone like Jalen Brunson. It just keeps coming. McConnell against Brunson. Turner, a screen on Brunson. Out left to the wing. The three. And it's Turner. That time on the assist from McConnell. McConnell's got assist number seven tonight. The Knicks have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Inside, Hartenstein. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Oh, come on, B.A. I mean, where's the defense? That's just too easy. Yeah, they got to do a much better job in help. Yeah, we see this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. Siakam, pass to Halliburton. From outside, off the mark. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. McBride, defended by Halliburton. He buries it from three. DiVincenzo's got nine points here in the second half. And this is where the coaching staff are plotting the way that Dante right now aggressively is shooting the ball off the catch and shoot. Halliburton finds Siakam. Over Hart. Siakam, no good. New York has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Brunson looks it over. It's deflected. Even Tinzo against Siakam. The ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Brunson. 
Brunson. Take it off in transition. Jalen Brunson. And Jalen Brunson doing it now at both ends. Indiana has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. McConnell against Brunson. Halliburton pass to Siakam. Back to Halliburton. Five on the clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Side Hart, pass to Brunson. Hart passes to DiVincenzo. Double by Siakam. Here's Hartenstein. And Turner with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. Neesmith, he's checked in for McConnell. And here's Brunson from the arc. The Pacers pull it in. Turner's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Well, a fast start in the first half. Looks like he's playing the second half in the mud. And you can't leave the basket unprotected. Bad things will happen to you. Yeah, that was just way too easy. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. And Turner with the block. Neesmith passes to Halliburton. Pass to Turner. Here's Nimhart. Off the mark there with a three. And so it's Hart with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. The three, DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Indiana. Siakam's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Now Halliburton. Tries from six feet. Halliburton gets airborne. Uh, defense doing their best to put Halliburton off balance, but he stays flexible, kind of warps around the defense and adjusts to the contact. Now a timeout called by New York. Boy, you got to like what Tyrese Halliburton has done in this game. You got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. McBride passes to Brunson. Takes a three. A nice shot by McBride. And he felt the double team coming. Quickly located the open man. Halliburton against Steven Tenzo. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Hart passes to Brunson. And their coaching staff, they love this. I mean, Siakam, he's engaged, aggressive, just getting after it on the defensive end. Nimhar, good. New York, they're working against the clock now. And here's Brunson. Outside, DiVincenzo. It's hard on the wing. Five to shoot. Hardenstein a screen. Pulls it from 20. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. A demonstration of how tough Hart is. Willing to accept contact and really work through it. Free throw, no good for Hart. And for the Pacers, they're shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. Brunson against Halliburton. Siakam outside. From the arc. And he drains it. Making him 7 for 15 for the day. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but... Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Brunson. The rebound by Neesmith. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 
There's a screen by Turner. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league wanting to prove that he belongs. He's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that brings him with an eight. 23 seconds left in the game. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. McConnell against Brunson. McConnell outside. And so the Indiana Pacers win the series and will be moving on. And it took seven games, but with this victory, they've wrapped this series up and are moving on to the conference finals. A thrilling, hard-fought series, and they definitely deserve to be moving on after the hard work they put into winning it. Time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. Alongside Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson with our entire 2K crew thanking you for watching. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Miles Turner.